Hey y'all, this is uh, Marshmallow FJR. I'm just kind of testing my mic out. This is my uh, second test, actually. Uh, my first test didn't go too well. I'm not even going to post it on YouTube, but um, I put more foam around the mic compared to the foam that it originally came in with. I just added a lot more foam. You, know, you can get this foam at Hobby Lobby, so just rubber banded the foam around it and put the mic. I have an old showy helmet, so I can't really stick it behind my cheek pad or anything like that, like a lot of guys, other guys do. So it's kind of just sitting there on my left side near my eye, but it's not hampering my peripheral vision or anything like that. So I'm just kind of testing the wind noise out on it. It's a beautiful day today. It's supposed to be a high of 68, and there's just not as much wind today, though. It is blowing from the south, but so I think it's like um, probably around 10 miles per hour. See, you probably hear it a little bit, I'm not sure, but anybody can comment on my YouTube channel, give me some advice on this mic thing I'm having problems with. I'm just trying to eliminate all the wind noise out of it as much as I can. So I'm just gonna, I'm gonna make this video quick, just take a short drive. Take it up to maybe 50, 60 miles per hour, maybe. See how the wind noise on the helmet is. And right now, I can hear it in my helmet. I'm just, you know, hoping that the mic doesn't pick it up as bad. Oh, there's a helicopter right there. He's flying low, it seems like. I can't tell if it's care flight. I don't know if y'all see that. It looks like a care flight. My only option is if I if I get enough uh, wind noise in my helmet on this test that um, I can move my mic to the front of my mouth and just add more foam to it. Right now it's just sitting to the left of my visor what else to do. <laughs> we'll just test it out here. I'm doing like 45 on a 45 mile per hour speed limit so we'll make a we'll make a left right here. What a great day out though. Traffic's pretty heavy for a Sunday. There we go, all heading to the wind. I can hear the wind in my helmet, so I don't know. Hopefully, it'll be it'll be all right. I think next Saturday, uh, the Honda dealership, Maxim Honda and Allen, is going to have their first uh, winter ride. They call it the Polar Bear Winter Ride. I, um, I think I'll go on that if the weather's weather's good and um, get some footage of it. It's a, just a short ride to Stackhouse Burgers down in Dallas off of Gaston Avenue, but if the weather's good, I, I like to go with them. Uh, that's a short ride, it's only maybe 25 minutes. Just head south on 75 to probably Gaston Avenue or Henderson Street, and then it's just maybe, uh, I don't know, a quarter of a mile off the uh, highway there, off the Interstate 75. left at this 
light here. And Obviously sitting still, you know, I've, I don't have any problems at all, but I'm not going to yell inside my helmet. <laughs> I can't do that. I'll have to do something about this wind noise in it. It's, I think it might be the helmet though. It's an old showy helmet. Great ventilation, but maybe that's too much ventilation. Now I've been told that some guys pop their visor up like halfway, like that, and they have a better sound in their mic, but I've tried that already and I don't know. I'll figure it out eventually. This is just my second motovlog, so. Alright y'all, y'all have a good day.